Hey, welcome back to the Audio Lag Show. A real treat. Uh, Al Jardine is here from the Beach Boys. Yeah, I want to talk about this. You're involved with uh, the Beatles' 50th uh, anniversary. You're closing with people like Tommy yeah. James and stuff like that. Yeah. Talk about that a little bit. I mean, yeah. what does that mean to you and how you got involved and what, what's, what we can look uh -huh. forward to? I, I got uh, got wind of this thing just recently, and I, I was here for the David Lynch uh, Foundation thing on right. Friday, so I thought, and I was... Uh, 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 the promoter called me and asked me if I'd uh, come and do it. And I said, well, when is it? And he said, February 8th. I said, well, I'm there on February 7th. I'm in the, I'm in the city. I, I'd That's be happy great. to do it. Yeah. You know? And, and it's not Richard Rosanet is his name. And, and mm -hmm. he uh, has done a lot of big, and it's also a benefit concert, apparently, that the funds are, are going to a worthy cause. Uh, Though I don't know what that cause is, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll let <laughs> me know. As long as it's worthy, yeah, as long as it's worthy, that's the important. But but yeah, that's how. And 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 uh, and, and I and I, food I bank like, of I like, New York. I like the artists who are on the show. All the Ooh. proceeds are going to the food bank. Oh, food bank. Yeah, I've, oh, I've done oh, stuff yeah. for them. The They're autism amazing. think oh, bank and the children's music fund. Now, who else is involved? Like what, Tommy, what James, is Tommy James. Tommy James. Tommy James. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anybody else? Have, oh, we got a yeah, quite a list. Quite a list. So uh, a lot of folks. Are you closing? And you're closing. I'm sorry. Are you closing the show? Yeah, well, with with a with, bunch of with everybody, we're all going to sing uh, uh, a little help for my friends. Oh, that's you great. Know? I mean, just yeah. seems to be a, a logical uh, yeah. song to do, you know. Now, are you know. are you close with McCartney? Uh, you know yes. him well, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I don't know him terribly well, but I mean, uh, uh, he he uh, uh, he and I talked at the Grammys for a little bit, and uh, and I produced a song called uh, on my own album called "Don't Fight the Sea." Right. And uh, and I asked him if he would do um, a cameo for me, and he just boom right right off the bat said, "Of course." He said, "I'd love to, love wow. to do it." So he has his own camera guy following him around. <laughs> oh, it's like it's a constant documentary. Well, that, and that's why I did it because I knew he had his, his guy there, and and he he he's the only one allowed to, to have a camera. His that's own camera guy in the whole one, place. That's one guy's in the So you know, <laughs> right. and so he just stood there right there and says, and just, "I said, okay, Paul, now on cue now." He says, "Don't fight," and he says. I said, I want you to shake your head. I want you to just to kind of do this. Says, don't fight the sea. And then look up. And, and, and all right, take two. <laughs> just, he looked at me, what? Take two? That's going to cost you, That's man. enough, right? A couple hundred bucks. So he, he was real generous. I mean, he gave me a, a little uh, uh, cred on that one, cred credentials on that one, because um, uh, the uh, Blue Ocean Festival, which is a big deal in California, every couple of years, this group of scientists get together and meet in Monterey. Right. And discuss the health and welfare of the ocean. Thank God, the world's oceans. Right, we so, need that to happen. Yeah. So, so my song, "Don't Fight the Sea," fits in with their thing, and mm -hmm. Paul appreciated that. Uh -huh. And anyway, uh, uh, what, what was the other group? It's another big ocean group that uh, is using the song, and the Beach Boys are all singing on as well uh, on this particular right. cut. So, it's a pretty important thing. I mean, that a yeah. lot of people. I mean, to, to fund scientists getting together to figure that out is. I can't yeah. believe more people don't take that seriously. It's pretty you know? deep. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's pretty deep stuff. So we're, you know, the Monterey Bay Aquarium is one of the leading research centers in glo global warming. So yeah, it's, it's it's pretty deep stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's look at the weather, you know. It's I mean, unreal what's been it's, happening. Uh, yeah. uh, it's starting to change. Mm -hmm. Now, you uh, did you know John Lennon at all? Did you know yes. him? Now, uh, what kind of a guy, what's your memory? Oh, of I, well, I know him. I shouldn't say I know him. I mean, what, I, you know, he, yeah. I knew him, I should say. Right. I, he, uh, very complex person, I'm sure. Right. Uh, he and George, was it George? Uh, visited me in London and uh, actually started me on the path with this transcendental meditation. Right. And huh. they, they wanted me to meet the Maharishi. Mm -hmm. And so they more or less, uh, you might say in, in football terms, what is it they... Yeah, you know, they made it happen. They, they right. threw the right, threw the right, threw the right uh, blocks and blocks, opened up the hole. Opened up the <laughs> hole, and I was able to run through the hole. Uh, the uh, about a month later, we met uh, up with Maharishi in Paris at yeah. the UNICEF wow. at a, a huge benefit called the United Nations Emergency Children's Fund mm -hmm. benefit. And, and at that time, it was the biggest concert ever played. Uh, in front of a television audience of 100 million people or something. It's still a pretty big crowd. <laughs> and, and, 100 million yeah, people. But the Beatles yeah. didn't play. They didn't. They were watching me uh, and my guys in the audience. They were sitting with Maharishi in the front row. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Watching our show. 
And it yeah. was, it's kind of weird that they didn't play, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that one made sense. That's, it would have been perfect, yeah. right? I mean, there was talent from all over the world there. So you learned how to meditate from the Maharishi. Million, yeah, supposedly they broadcast. 100 million people. That's, that's huge. Because this last Super Bowl, 111.5 million was the biggest TV audience to ever watch anything. Yeah, that's pretty big. So 100 million people watching well, it. That's huge. Yeah, that's it, it, amazing. But anyway, that, that's a great group. The, uh, United Nations deal. You learned yeah. how to uh, meditate from the Maharishi himself in Paris. He taught yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, he taught us right there. That's uh, pretty official. That's pretty cool. I guess you, probably, <laughs> yeah, you right. probably do it right then. You, you, you probably uh, it, nailed it. It's it's pretty neat and and it's you know it's just real simple. It's just not there's nothing difficult about it. It's, but it, it's training it's, the mind to go inward yeah. instead of outward. We're always expressing ourselves in the outer, you know, all this material stuff and and that's important. I mean. That's this is where we live, and that's how we function. But it, it's important to redirect all that energy back into your own uh, awareness. There's this field of awareness he describes sure. it as unity consciousness. I know it gets it pretty heavy, but and and if you are able to make a connection with that, if you can contact that that source, then it makes your other experience a lot better because mm -hmm. you're really tapping into the the serious stuff. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it goes way below the subconscious levels and goes back in the finer, finer states of consciousness. And right. that's how this it gives you a mantra and you develop a a working relationship with consciousness. What, what do you think your life would have been with, like without this? What, what would your life have been like without I, meditation? I, I think it would be pretty impossible. <laughs> really? You yeah, go that yeah. far? I mean, saying, I'm yeah. serious. Yeah, Paul, Paul said the same thing, basically, because, yeah, I mean, there's so many pressures on us all the time that you know it, 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 you yeah, it we get a day. lot of well, it's a lot of stuff especially nowadays i mean yeah. the life moves yeah. so fast pretty, and, pretty, you know yeah so we're i mean it's a great tool yeah. if for no other reason uh it's it's just a great tool to to uh to relax is this well, a lot of, without drugs a lot, a lot yeah. of people turn yeah. to yeah. drugs that's, that's the, the thing said that was the deal it's a it was, substitute it was for one that. of those either or deals and that right. actually split the band up sure the band, we were on opposite sides of this issue uh, not that meditation is bad, but that drugs are not good. Exactly. I guess, would be, uh, I yeah. guess that's the word. So <laughs> they tolerated us. We to meaning the Wilsons tolerated us, and we tolerated them. The Wilsons went with the drug. <laughs> you, you guessed it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and Mike and I were more the the teetotalers. You know. I mean, it, I, yeah. you know, whatever you call. Listen, it. Listen, I mean, it, you know, it's it's yeah. a, it's a way more peaceful life. Thank yeah. God. You know. I yeah, mean, yeah, the price is pretty heavy when you go the other route, man. Right. I mean, look at poor Seymour Hoffman, man. Yeah, uh, really, oh, really sad. Crap, recreational. Yeah. Heroin? Give me a break. I mean, that's probably it, it, things escalate to where you think it's normal. Yep. I mean, where, do you, where does it stop? It, well, mean, that's the thing it does. Say, found 70 yeah. bags. In two years, you'd have had 200. You'd have been dead with the, yeah, it. Yeah. Do, it doesn't stop, is the problem. Well, it stops you know? with the needle in your well, arm well, and you on the floor of a bathroom. Yeah. It always looks right. like that next level's no big deal, yeah. I think. Right. You know, whatever. I've never been to that level, but I, I think it's my guess. Anyway. I think I you know. took the right route. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you look back on your life, uh, you know, just an extraordinary life. I mean, uh, you know, going through the 60s and 70s. And, I mean, is there anything you take from this? Is there something you could say to younger people and just go like, <laughs> you're like, how, like just uh, you've seen stuff that not a lot of people have seen. I mean, uh, do you just have like a real peaceful look when you look back at a peaceful look back at it? I would, if I had a, something to say that, right. to anybody starting out, you mean, I would, I would say enjoy the music, play guitars, you know, grab a guitar and enjoy the, the music, enjoy. a piano, whatever it is you, that you have an affinity for, but don't expect it to be a, a, a an occupation. Because that's yeah. when you get in don't trouble. Don't expect it to be, right. uh, you know, uh, get a great man, get get a great gig, great, and, and then have fun with the music. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Because when it, when you have when when you when it's a business, then that business part of it. And it takes the fun out of it. It sounds like you know that what I'm saying? Well, it, yeah, it sounds like it happened to you early, that's too. The rub. It, right. It's fun for a while. Yeah. But boy, it can get real ugly. Mm -hmm. it, <laughs> yeah, it destroys There's relationships. So many and everything. characters drawn to us. Right. See, we're, we're like magnets. And boy, they whew, they attach themselves mm -hmm. to us fast. Yeah, that probably had to be, I mean, by the late 60s, we, that had to we, be completely out of hand. Made and lost more fortunes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's just what it is. And that takes a lot of that, that's the wear and tear on you. I mean, that. That's why the meditation. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, man. It saves your life. Saver, yeah. 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 Well, uh, listen, I I, uh, I really appreciate you coming here. Again, um, the uh, the concert is well, it's February eighth. 
uh, the town hall concert, at the town uh, the, hall, the, the tribute, and then uh, right. David Lynch is on Friday. And David Lynch is Friday, yeah. and at the Friday village and at the Reuben. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll plug that later in the show too. Okay. I really appreciate you coming on, man, right, and, man. and talking with us. This was a you lot of fun. Guys. Thanks. Uh, me too. Uh, Al Jardine. Good, good questions. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> the Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on Directv.